Hi guys, it's Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am here with a life update. This is a bit overdue, I should have done this maybe a month ago, but it's been crazy in this household. So if you don't watch any of my lifestyle videos or you're new to my channel, welcome. What I do every six months is kind of just update you on my life. A lot of you are very, very kind and sweet and always ask for updates on my children and how things are going. So I kind of put my thoughts in this video so that's what we're going to do today. So obviously in the last six months I have had my daughter, she was born in January, so the last lifestyle update, life update was in November I think, so I was heavily pregnant at the time. So she's here, she is ha happy, healthy, both of them have just had the chicken pox, which is why I had to stop filming for a while, I literally had Austin had it for a week, I had a week where no one had it, and then Andy then got it, so I was waylaid with the chicken pox for some time but yeah she arrived very safely um in january um so her name is anderson her full name is anderson um but we, we call her andy um and yeah it's a bit more of an unusual name i personally had the name andy for a girl always in my life backup that I always loved that name. My husband likes it because of the Goonies, there's an Andy in that, and then also Alice like an Andy in one of the Step Up films, um, and then there's um, Andy McDowell, so there's, there's female Andys around, and I just thought it was a bit of a different name, but when I say people, her name is Andy, everyone kind of just reacts normally, I guess no one really says to me, oh that's a lot of girls' name. Um, so it's something a little bit different, and we all, we're all aides in my household, so she had to be another A name, and um, I just wanted her to have like more of like a formal first name, so she's Anderson, but we just call her Andy for sure. Everyone calls her Andy. I don't think I really call her Anderson that often at all. I'm contemplating doing like a separate like birthing, birth, uh, like mum tag video. I've been looking at a few like tags on YouTube because I realised that everybody wants to know my inner details on giving birth. But I was, uh, I did have gestational diabetes, which I did have with Austin. Um, it was a little bit different this time. They treat you as if you're going to have gestational diabetes the second time, uh, just because it's very likely because you've had it the first time. Um, so I had insulin earlier. Um, and it was diagnosed earlier, but she was a lot smaller of a baby. She was seven pounds nine, so she was still a, a decent size uh, for two weeks early. But Austin was even bigger than that. And I don't know if it's because when you look at boys and girls, boys tend to be bigger and girls tend to be more petite and small. Um, but yeah, she arrived um, and she's here. And like I said, I'm possibly going to do a video about like I think it's one that I did like I can't remember, but I I might do a different separate mum type video to go into more details of labour and birth. But it was fine. I didn't, I, it was a lot quicker than last time, which is what people say, that they deliver a lot quicker. Even though I was induced with Austin, it took four days, and with her, I had her within 36 hours. So it was um, a lot quicker, and the pain just came on a lot more intensely, but for a short period of time, which I'm guessing is more preferable if we want to choose four days of lo like long pain, or just 36 hours. I guess that would be the preference. Um, we also came in home a lot sooner this time. Uh, when I had Austin, I had an in, I contracted an infection whilst in hospital, so I had to stay in for a long time. So it was much nicer to get in, get out, get home um, a lot quicker than before. That was really nice, and I missed Austin so so badly. Um, and I was just worrying about him more than possibly worrying about anything else at the time. I was just so worried about him. Um, he's home, he's fine, he doesn't really have any opinions on Andy really, he um, has always been very chill, he's never been very jealous of her, um, he's not, he's just fine, he just accepts that she's here, she's part of our family, he's not over the top with her, if I encourage him with her he's very good, he's very gentle, um, but he's just not wholly that bothered but now she's a bit more mobile he's a bit more interesting and like we're trying to do a bit of sharing and if he wants one of her toys um, I make him ask him to have the toy from her, so they're getting along fine. Hopefully, as time goes on, they'll be a bit obviously a bit more interactive. She loves him. She just stares at him all the time and just smiles at him. Um, she definitely loves her big brother a lot, which is so cute to see at such a young age. She's five months tomorrow. She's rolling, rotating, spinning. She's in a jumperoo. She is super active, like her brother. Uh, she's sleeping at the moment, so hopefully, she'll give me another ten minutes just to finish this up. Um, but yeah, life with two. Um, I think some people say they find it easier going from none to one than one to two. I've definitely found it really hard going from one to two. And it's just like the inner mum struggle. If you don't want to abandon the first one for the second one, but then sometimes you have to put the second one first. Like I breastfeed as well as bottle feed, I combination feed. So if I'm breastfeeding her especially, I can't just put her down and stop. That's not how it works. Um, um, but he's at preschool um, a little bit now. So 
to start with when he went there I didn't want him to think that he was there because of her although he went he went before I had her but he increased a little bit when I had her and he genuinely loves it and a lot of people said that to me that you will feel when it's time for them to progress up more because they'll want to be there like he wakes up sometimes and he asks me if we're going to school and things so he's definitely happy there he's there right now having a grand time I'm sure so yeah you feel sure to leave me any comments about anything else down below if you want to know anything more but like I say for the people that are interested I'm thinking I'm going to do some sort of like mum tag that I've seen on YouTube that's my plan anyway so we've now been in the house for a little bit longer we're starting to get house things done um, so everything's just moving and going really really fast like time is flying we've had Austin's room decorated we're in the middle of decorating Andy's room um, we are hoping to we've done the garden the garden didn't need too much work but that's been done so everything's kind of get moving I still feel like I'll never unpack it's a fact I've been here since September I feel like I'm never ever going to unpack everything it's just not going to happen I although I have found that I'm a more organized person since having two children I feel like it's made me be more organized I have no choice but to be more organized YouTube stuff has been going really really well actually and although a lot of people have said to me obviously take your time with YouTube and I have been more I've cut down a little bit and I've had more gaps in it this is like my thing that I love to do and it's something sometimes when I've had a crazy day with the kids sitting down and painting my nails or planning a video or editing it just soothes my mind so being able to do this as much as I can um, has been amazing and you guys have been so supportive of that I've also had some amazing opportunities this year I said to, uh, I think I said to a few people that it's so funny that well you would think I would be kind of calming down a little bit because um, of the children I actually have found myself being more busy with reviews which has been amazing in one sense um and then also a bit stressful in another um but I did some reviews for glam polish that was brand new for me for this year and some up like and a prison polish I've done some new brand collaboration reviews that have been great I did another collaboration collection with Timberland so it's just been a really positive 2019 when it comes to YouTube. I have been on YouTube five years this year, which is crazy to think that you guys have seen a five years of my life chunked away. I do look back at those old videos and one thing that I can actually see that I have aged considerably, or not considerably, but you, you don't think that you're getting any older. And then when I see videos of me from five years ago, I'm like, oh, wow, I looked so young then. And you've seen me get married and have children. So it's been a real journey and a real like chunk of my life, I guess, which has been quite nice to document. And it'll always guess, be there in film um, if I ever wanted to look back on it and things like that, it's a, it's a really nice thing. And five years and almost 5,000 subscribers is just crazy. When I started this, I did not think it was going to go like this. I, I hoped that it would, and I hoped that I would still be enjoying it and you guys would be watching. But when you take, like, on YouTube, the first thing you have to do for it is yourself. And when I think if I talk back, this in my YouTube story video, that when I first thought that I was going to do a channel, I probably spent, like, two months just, like, playing and, like, practicing doing youtube videos to myself where i actually got like the kahunas to go ahead and post it and see what people were going to say youtube world as well like when it comes to nail polish was so small then and is so huge now i really think it's amazing to see how many people have joined in on like i guess instagram has blown up a big instagram world for people and now being able to do more like instagram like little videos and things there's a lot of people that do that that's exploded there's a lot of people that um have like channels like this and do that compared to when I first started there was easily only, not even 10 channels when I first started that were like you like 100% nail polish and not really nail art there's always been a big nail art community but then like nail polish non-nail art um it's always always very small and to see it like probably like quadruple whatever more than quadruple is five times the size now is just so good and I'm so pleased that everybody else is doing it like I think there's sometimes people there's an aspect of jealousy but there really isn't from my for me anyway I love seeing other people enjoy what I enjoy it's the reason why I'm here so I will be off work for a considerable amount of time still I'm very lucky so I'm going to be off work um over the summer and into the autumn so hopefully my plans for the next six months are really just to grow them kids keep doing these this like, like I'm enjoying we have a few plans and things coming up um, over the summer and I'd really like to get a holiday in I'd really love to go on holiday so bad we are going to go away in January we're just going to go um, away to do a little European hot winter sun break but I'd really like to go away in between even if it's only for a few days oh we did that as well in the last six months my husband actually turned 30 four days before Andy was born so we didn't really get much for the 30th birthday so in April we went away to a cabin um, 
away, about an hour and a half away from us, and we did like a cabin in the middle of the woods, and it was glorious. And I, even if we just do another one of those, I would really like just to get away from the like my normal life and get on with that. That would be so so good. I think that's everything for now. Like I say, just babies polishing life balancing children juggling everything is currently what i'm doing i will try i'm definitely going to do another one of these before i go back to work um so be prepared to see another update video in another five six months time let's say let me any comments down below and if like i say i'm gonna try and film a different tag so if you guys are more interested in that um by all means you can watch it give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for your support now and always see you later